What's happening, Gentle Giants? Welcome back to our channel. Hey, Gentle Giants, welcome back to our channel. We're back with another video. Yeah. Something that you voted yes for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. But we hope that everyone is still staying safe. We hope everyone is still at home. If you are still staying safe and you're still at home, make sure that you like this video. If you are an essential worker as well, Make sure you like this video if you are back at work as well make sure that you do like this video and yeah man so what are we doing today babe? <laughs> we're doing the first time tag yeah i um, will be sharing with you guys our first time experiences together as a couple and i guess individually like like our first time experiences individually on that specific topic or question or whatever yeah if you sent through your question make sure you like this video yeah if you would if if your question comes up make sure you like this video yeah. if your question does not come up don't despair like this video um we're still going to be doing a q a Q&A very soon so one way or another there's a question from you that will answer <laughs> so like this video anyways yeah so these are our questions yeah not sure if you can see but yeah yeah let's get right into it babe. so question Number uno. Um, when was the first time you told your parents that uh, there's this girl or there's this boy or about this girl or about this boy? The first time I think I didn't even tell my parents. I think they just like saw you and that just happened. I didn't really have a conversation with my mom mm -hmm. and I was like, there's this girl, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I think my mom did suspect because there was this name Caesar, Caesar appearing quite a lot and yeah which was unusual because she even asked is this Caesar a girl or a boy like what's <laughs> happening but yeah but it wasn't an official names. thing <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it wasn't an official conversation that yeah there's this girl type yeah. of a thing and you so for me there was definitely that conversation especially because um my parents are like really strict especially my mom so i told my sister first i was like dude <laughs> there's this guy i'm dating or whatever and my sister was like Inni. so i told my sister so that she could help me tell my mom but she was just like i need good luck out you know then i told my mom um so also then i started dating in feb in December that year when I went home for the December holidays, I told my mom, um, I was like, Mama, Mama, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my mama, <laughs> if you guys are wondering where I get my resting bitch face from, it's my mom. My mom just looked at me and she's like, hey, hey what's this? He ain't let me chill out here. So I'm like, I have a boyfriend and then she's like to me, I go, I ain't see why So eventually um that didn't end well. My mom was just like me seem to I ain't see why you can think in Zayo and um she's only gonna meet this guy when cows come through and yeah but yeah that wasn't the case that didn't happen she met him way before that so <laughs> yeah okay Question number two. There's actually quite a lot of questions here, you guys. So we'll try and go through as many as we can. Yeah. Um, but for the we're gonna have to keep checking the time for the sake of the video so that it doesn't end up becoming too long. But yeah. So the next question is, what was your first vacation? Um, first vacation we went to Durban. Was it first or second year of dating? Second year. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was our second year. It was in Durban. I really enjoyed that holiday. I feel like it was one of my favorite. I don't know if it's because it was our first. We swam so much. <laughs> <laughs> we swam a lot. Yo, 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 yo. We swam a lot. It was amazing. But yeah. Okay. So, next question. What was your first goal that you set together and how was it achieved? Our first goal. I think our first goal, given that we started dating in varsity, is a goal that actually started off as being individual goals, but at the end became like one goal that we set together. Everyone that goes to varsity, their, their goal is to complete their studies, obviously get their degrees and all of that, but, which was our goal. But as soon as we started dating, we ended up making that our goal, that baby. 
let's support each other let's be there for one for one another let's complete our qualifications in order for us to move into the next phase of our lives which is seeing the real world going into the working space and all those type of things so i think completing our qualifications yeah. with each other's support and us being there for one another was our first goal yeah the first time i said no the first time I said no to my wife was when there was a time, well, there was this popular place called Liquid Chefs in Rosebank. My wife wanted us to go to Rosebank and that time I had been partying like crazy. So I was thoroughly exhausted. I didn't want to go out anymore. I just, I just wanted a break. And I was like, baby, you know what? I can't. Like, I'm sorry. Not today. And guess what? She actually pulled up. Pulled up at my place and just like no ways i'm not taking no for an answer <laughs> yeah, like... but yeah so I, I ended up giving in but that was the first time i said no so she pulled up with a friend who was sleeping at the bed <laughs> we're not gonna mention any names <laughs> but they know themselves <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then, <laughs> yeah, that was the first time. But we eventually went to liquid chef that night. Hey, we got into so much trouble. Yeah, maybe, maybe we should have a story, a story time. time. <laughs> 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 Let us know down below if you want us to have a story time about that night. Yo, yeah. we got into so much trouble. I <laughs> nah, no. When was the first time you guys said I love you? It was very early in our relationship. Um, I don't remember a certain time, a specific time, but very, very early. <laughs> yeah, it was in the beginning phases of our relationship. Actually, I think it was even before we made things official. Like, I think we told each other that uh, I love you. I was you. not part of that club. You were. You were. <laughs> oh. Like, we told each other we loved each other. And the thing is, we were friends before we started dating. So, like, we had love for each other and we told each other that we loved each other. And that love was like borderline friendship love and also I want you type of love. So we said it very early in our friendship. Because we were serious about each other, okay? The girl yeah. and the boy were serious. <laughs> okay. Um, our first real argument in how we resolved it. <laughs> I, uh, it was a very childish argument. Do you Which remember? One? Which one was that? It was a very childish argument. Um, so Uzwandi on that specific day he did not come to campus. So uh, it's that one. Yes. So let me tell you guys what happened. Guys. Let me tell you what happened. Uzwandi, he was um so obviously we spoke literally the entire day, every single day. And <laughs> So I'm speaking to him and he's like to me, it's in the morning, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna start studying now. So I'm like, how? Aren't you coming to school? And especially because Magati, he's gonna start studying. That means he's not coming to school because usually we say, no, I'm on my way to school or saying, let's go there and you know, whatever. He's like, I'm gonna start studying now. I'm like, are you not coming to campus? He's like, no, I told you. And I was just like, what the hell? You didn't tell me. And I, maybe I blew things out of proportion because I was on my period and I was on my menses and I was just like really honestly I can't see this guy you know so yeah he didn't he, <laughs> he wasn't coming to school and he was planning on studying at home then I stopped like answering his text like I was annoyed I kept calling kept calling I didn't answer then I was just like this guy is blowing up my phone and I answered he was just like please come outside I was at the library I was studying on campus it's like please come outside and I came, when I went outside oh guys <laughs> He had brought me like this period period pain hamper with um, all the junk, um, sweets, chocolate, ice cream, hot wings. Woo! <laughs> Guys. I think at that time, that's when I realized that this whole PMS thing is real. <laughs> like I always used to hear about this thing and I was like, this thing is a myth. I've dated before. I've never experienced anything like this. I've had so many female friends. I've never experienced anything like this. So that was, I think, the first time where I actually realized that this thing is not a myth. PMS is real, guys. So he eventually did come to campus and I saw him. Yeah. But he just dropped the stuff and he went back home to go study. Yeah. Oh, thing. The sweetest. <laughs> when was our official, first official date? Um, our first official date was at Spur. Was when he was leaving. He was going on his geology excursion, um, and I was just like, <laughs> "How am I going to live with this guy?" I think that was a, that was one of the days I remember when I realized I really want to be with this guy forever because my heart was so sore. 
um, but we had our date. It was also like a goodbye date because we was leaving for the week, and we had a spur. So <laughs> this girl, yeah. like, she's not only just pretty, she's also cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But okay, that was our official first official date according to like social standards. But according to me, our first official date was on campus. Like my wife and I, well, my girlfriend at the time, we used to. <clears throat> like buy lunch on campus and like find these like cute little spots on yeah. campus and chill they have long conversations yeah. and like so for me those were our first first official dates because we'd even plan them and even set dates hence the word date but we'd even set dates that we are doing this today whatever 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 so according to me that was our first official date I don't know campus. how we got our degrees but hey but hey we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here today <laughs> Um, first night of living together, first week of living together, guys. One thing that I can <laughs> tell you, yo, we were so tired. Yeah. We were so tired. Like, and the thing is, like, it's crazy how tired we were. Um, we really shouldn't have been that tired because we had help. Like, our helpers were here to pack our stuff and put our clothes in the pack our clothes in our closets. And yeah. the furniture people were coming through to come drop off the furniture and assemble it and all of that. So we didn't really do like hard manual labor. Yeah. Um, I think like mentally we were tired because because what? I think it's just the thing of moving. Like yeah. moving is is exhausting. Whether you are physically involved in the moving process or you're just there um, supervising I, people doing the actual work, it's just exhausting. Yeah, I think also like telling the people what's okay, assemble this here, yeah. there, and all of that. Also, the previous day we had gotten married, you know, so that was also quite like a long day because we had our um, our ceremony with our parents and our priest, and then we went out for lunch. Yeah. So it was a long two days. Yeah. But it was an amazing night, like yeah. first night of hashtag um, sleep over with your bestie for life yeah. had started. <laughs> it was amazing, yeah. We're tired, but it was amazing. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. And then. When oh, was your first kiss? First kiss? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember this properly. You explain it. I think. There's two official first kisses according to me. The first kiss happened on campus and I was trying to like replicate like a movie scene type of a thing. <laughs> so like my wife was like on her phone, we was chilling outside the library. So she was on her phone and all of that and I was just like staring at her and looking at her. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going in here. Yeah. So like I kind of like stole a kiss but it wasn't like mutual in a way like i just stole like a baby kiss so that was kind of like my first kiss with her but our first official kiss i think happened at where i was present <laughs> and involved <laughs> was at hoods versus burbs uh, which is an event that usually happened at chaff posey in the south of joburg and they are also known as soweto towers and yeah i think that was our first kiss that's where our first kiss happened yeah i remember that one um first time we exchanged games and what were they for um so i had gotten him a so there was this hat that Lil Wayne used to wear all the time it was like it was like a hat and then on the side like there were flaps where it covered your ears so it was black i know his favorite camera is black i got him a black one it was laid on the outside and it was like fur or fluff or whatever on the inside so it was quite warm it was for his birthday also he was going away it was for his birthday like his birthday falls is in june so it's quite cold so you know it was a perfect gift my first official gift to you was also your birthday i actually got my wife an orlando pirates t-shirt i also got a beyonce fragrance chocolates and like a neck piece as yeah. well i think it was blue i think i remember like a bluish turquoise neck piece yeah i think i remember it as well yeah, yeah. <sighs> first time you told each other you love each other we answered that oh yeah when did you know you were in love? The first time you knew you were in love? I think the first time I knew was like when we were still friends. Like I just couldn't get enough of my wife. Well, my wife now. 
but I couldn't get enough of Caesar at the time. Like I was just obsessed with her. I was just, and I knew that you know what, I'm in love here. Like it was no longer a friendship. I was like, no, this is no longer a friendship. <laughs> I'm in love here. <laughs> I'm in love here. But yeah, I was really like, I just couldn't get enough of her. Yeah, I think I think it was around about the same time for me. Um. Yeah, I man, the conversations were flowing, the vibes were great, the company was amazing, but yeah, very early in the relationship. Okay. Or friendship, rather. When was your first sexual experience? Chump was <laughs> Kissing is a sexual experience, right? Yeah, kissing is a sexual experience, it's part of a sexual experience. Yeah. So. Yeah, so it was when we had our first kiss. Exactly. So our first kiss was our first sexual experience. Yeah, and I was involved in that kiss, so I was feeling a whole lot of things. So yeah. Okay, what's your next one? Um, first time, first time traveling on a plane together. Oh, well, that was our first time traveling on a plane together. Was also the first time I know someone asked us about our first international holiday or trip vacation. Was when we went to Zanzibar. That so, was very risky. Like, why would we like the first time being on a plane with you? Why would I go to another country altogether? That <laughs> that was not safe. But it was amazing. I really enjoyed that that holiday. Yeah. So that was the first time. When was the first time you thought about money? Um, ghetto, you explain. You don't remember? I remember, but you explain. Okay guys, the first time my wife and I, or well, my girlfriend at the time, thought about money was when we first got our jobs. Guys, my wife used to... <laughs> she's even laughing. My wife used to buy clothes every single month like she used to Standard. buy it no <laughs> oh no she used to buy clothes all the time she was that girl add to cart add to cart add to cart so that to some extent that ended up like bothering me in a way because like i felt like you were wasting money some of the clothes were unnecessary and i get that women can never have enough clothes and all of that but like it was getting too much and yeah i think that was our first time but in actual fact, I just want to give like young couples advice or new relationships and all of that is that finances need to be discussed quite early in the relationship. Don't put it off until you get married and all of that. Discuss finances, discuss how you deal with money and how you plan and how you save and all those type of things. I feel like people usually focus on like the personality and all these physical aspects of a person and all of that. But discuss finances because finances is one of the things that have been a result of so many divorces. So discuss finances very early in your relationship. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, and that is it. We have come to the end of the video. Yeah. Thank you so much for sending through your questions. Yeah. <laughs> really do appreciate it um, do comment down below and, and let, let us know. know about your first experiences with your partners when did you first say you were in love when was your first fight about money how did you resolve it so remember to communicate guys with all the it's very that you important. do hence we're able to go through that he communicated to me with the babes calm down at the rate you're going <laughs> <my dad. laughs> um what else so yeah let us know about your first experiences we hope you enjoyed this don't I forget do. to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet you're not a gentle giant yet yeah. so subscribe if you want to be a gentle giant yeah and who doesn't want to be a gentle giant i mean, I mean come on <laughs>